Rumors are that these two housewives allegedly are about to ask Kenya for a big favor in helping them to return to the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. Who are the two housewives and will Kenya do it? I have some new information that may answer all of those questions and more right after this. What's up, kinfolk, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, do me a favor and get notified so you'll know whenever I upload new videos to the channel. All right, kinfolk, come on into the house. We have a lot to talk about, and it centers around rumors that allegedly these two mystery housewives are about to ask Kenya for a big favor in helping them return to the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. Who are these two housewives? And will Kenya actually help? I have some new information that may answer all of those questions and more. And here it goes. The race is on for former Real Housewives of Atlanta housewives to secure a peach for next season. Behind the scenes, the ladies are working overtime to make sure their names stay in the headlines and front and center on producers' shortlists. The source explained, these veteran and OG housewives know how to play the reality TV show game. They are pros at marketing themselves and selling potential storylines to producers. Allegedly, some OGs and veteran housewives have been in serious talks to rejoin the cast. And these two former housewives, veterans and OGs are nervous because they have not been asked to allegedly join informal discovery talks about rejoining the show with producers. The source explained, Discovery talks are unofficial and reality TV shows all have them. They use them to get insight on particular talents and life updates to explore potential storylines that could work once filming starts. These talks are sometimes clear indication into who producers allegedly want back on their show or for new shows altogether. So the question is, who are the two former OG and veteran housewives who have not allegedly been asked back for Discovery Talks to rejoin the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise? Well... Allegedly, both Portia and Nene have not been asked to engage in any discovery talks for the upcoming season of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Another source said, to their defense, it is still early to begin any alleged discovery talks or contract negotiations. Season 16 will be a highly coveted season to be a part of. And allegedly, the network and producers are still monitoring current franchise reboots and seeing how well they perform. So, depending on those performances, production will probably make a decision very soon as to how many OG and veteran housewives to ask back, ended the source. Another industry insider said, if Portia and Nene did need an alliance with anyone, it would definitely be Kenya, and she would be the perfect person. Rumors are that the network allegedly listens to Kenya because of her strong level-headed advice and constructive criticism, something Portia herself may have picked up on. The two were recently seen laughing it out at a birthday party where party guests said that the two were extremely friendly and seemed to really be enjoying each other's company. The source continued, if Portia re-entered the franchise as a friend of Kenya's, then that would be ratings gold. Also, Fernini said the source, asking for indirect help from Kenya to get back on the show could be the ultimate power move. It could work. However, the source believes that it may be harder to sell Nini rejoining the cast on Kenya's behalf than it is to sell Portia returning. Now, sources do believe that anything can happen between now and official contract negotiations for past and current Housewives of Atlanta. But as always, we'll just have to wait and see which one Kenya sticks her neck out for the most. Now, Kimfolk, um, this is some very interesting uh, rumors that I've been hearing this week about um, potential former Real Housewife OGs and veterans rejoining the show. And as always, 
we're going to dissect which part of this rumor could be factual and which part of this rumor is probably not so factual. And the first thing is this. You know, it is very clear that everyone, and I mean everyone from current, former OG and uh, veteran housewives, that they are all trying to make a very valid play in rejoining the franchise. I mean, it's very clear. It's very evident. Um, just by how all of them have been moving over the past several months, it's a clear indication that they all want back on the show. I think Portia kicked things off with her interview, I think it was with The Breakfast Club when she was co-hosting that week. And she made it very clear that she is interested in rejoining the show. And then that's when reports came out that uh, Bravo, or at least the producers, allegedly offered her an open door invitation. Something that she has signaled that she is really willing and ready to uh, accept. So with that being said, I do feel like Portia um, is the uh, one of the veteran housewives who really kicked off this campaign to return. And then I think that the another shoe that dropped uh, when it came to ratings really prompted a lot of other former OG housewives to start making a play to get back on the platform. I think we saw such moves from um, Lisa Wu and also such moves from Kim Zosiak and even uh, moves from um, Cynthia Bailey when ratings started to seem like they were not going to be what production or producers had hoped them to be. Which brings us to the next part about this rumor that I can actually see being very factual. And it's this. Sources are telling me that behind the scenes, allegedly production is very interested in bringing back OG Housewives as well as some veteran housewives back into the fold of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Talks are, will they be official peach holders or just friend of the show? Rumors are that production is allegedly leaning to them actually being peach holders once again. And the reason for this is because those veteran housewives and OG housewives already know what is needed to make iconic television. They've had many years in front of the camera and behind the camera as well, producing each other, helping each other produce storylines and narratives, something that this new current cast has not quite grabbed the concept of, and something I do believe fans and maybe even some producers may be getting a little frustrated and impatient about them doing. So with that being said, I can definitely feel like that at the end of the day, there may not be a lot of OG. There may not be a lot of former OG of veteran housewives returning. I do believe that the method that producers and production may end up taking is bringing back key OG housewives and key veteran housewives back into the fold that they feel like can help fill in some of these gaps that are being left behind by the current cast. Now, Kim Folk, with that being said, there are a lot of other factors that my sources are telling me is making a big play in bringing any OG and Housewives back. Like I was saying, these new reboots and from the Real Housewives of OC and the Real Housewives of NYC are making uh, big waves in media, in the media uh, atmosphere and with fans. However, it seems like that those reboots are taking a little bit more time to really catch on across the board. Sources are saying that the reboot in Housewives of Orange County, where they brought Tamara back, if I'm not mistaken, is showing great promise because the numbers and the ratings have improved literally overnight. And so there's going to be a good marketing or a good argument about bringing any former OG Housewives back, not necessarily veteran Housewives. And when we look at the Real Housewives of NYC, we saw the reboot was launched to great reviews and great ratings, but unfortunately those ratings have somewhat subsided. So with that being said, it seems like there may be a argument that maybe the cast does not need a complete overhaul with new individuals, just they need to bring back key individual players back into the fold. Now, Kim Folk, the next part of this rumor that I do um, find very interesting, and I think that uh, everyone else probably would agree with, is this. It does seem like everyone is making a valid play to return to the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise for next season. And rightfully so. I think the ladies, uh, being veterans that they are of the reality TV show game, do see a lot of opportunities there. Um, Cynthia uh, definitely understands how to play the reality TV show game. And the way she has pre uh, pre uh, positioned her brand, it seems like now returning back to the franchise will be the ultimate play because she has several businesses and several brand opportunities that she can now um, use on the platform to get even to make even more lucrative for her and her empire and her brand. So with that being said, I think everyone is trying to better place themselves to return because all the key players have kept their name in the headlines, I mean all summer long. From Nene to Portia to Kim Zosiak 
to Cynthia. I think everyone has made a valid play to show producers that they are still hot commodities. That individuals, fans, both present and current and future, want to see them back in front of their screens. Even much so that we have seen that a lot of these housewives have softened their position towards Kenya. Someone who produces, someone who uh, my sources are saying that producers, production, and even the network really does take uh, a very serious look at their uh, advice and their constructive criticism. Now, the only person that has not warmed up to uh, Kenya so far is Kim Zozak. However, that's not necessarily a bad thing for Kim. It shows that between Kim and the Kenya, there is still bad blood and potentially still storylines there that, they, that producers could exploit for some pretty good drama if Kim is to return back to the franchise. So with that being said, all the ladies are definitely making themselves known to production and producers that they are still viable housewives that the, that the general public as well as OG and veteran housewife fans who have stuck with the franchise through thick and thin really want to see back in front of their cameras. Now, Kimfo, the last part of this room that I do find very interesting, and I think it is also probably the more likely thing to happen, is this. For Kenya, it does seem like Portia is the safest bet. And the reason why Portia is the safest bet, I think, for Kenya is because Portia, through all of her issues that she's had with her relationship and now marriage with Simon, still is the safest for Kenya to kind of stick her neck out there with. Because if you are to believe the rumors that uh, Portia left the network uh, with a bad taste in their mouths about her being on air talent again because of her disastrous spinoff show, then one could probably put that against how Nini exited the franchise and exited the uh, network and see that maybe Portia's exit is not so bad. And so with that being said, if Kenya did want to bring back a very sensationalized housewife between Portia and Nene, it does seem like Portia may actually be the better and safer bet. It seemed like production of the network probably wouldn't mind Portia coming back because maybe they can work with her. Or maybe they may feel like Portia probably learned her lesson and is now ready to come forward and be her authentic self for the cameras and for the fans. But also with that being said, with Portia being the safest bet for Kenya to stick her neck out for, would Kenya actually do it? I don't know. Sources are saying that Kenya really does have the greater good for the show up front and center in her mind. And is not a petty person depending on, uh, despite what may be seen on camera. So with that being said, I definitely do see Kenya making a valid, and I mean a very valid and genuine attempt. To get Portia back on the franchise because she understands what Portia brings to the franchise and she understands how Portia appeals to the fan base, especially those veteran OG housewives. So if you are to believe this rumor, because right now, just all speculation and alleged information, my money would definitely be on Kenya actually sticking her neck out and lending a hand to Portia to get back on the show versus Nene. But as my sources are saying, everything is still new, it's still fresh, and it's still early. So you know what that means, Kimfo. Anything can change and anything can happen between now and mid-September where my sources are saying production is looking to make some changes and additions to the cast after all the reunion uh, episodes have aired. Now, Kimfo, now I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think Kenya is better off giving a hand up to Portia to get back on the franchise or do you think she's better off giving a hand up to Nene to get back on the franchise? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. All right, Kim Folk, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys over on the next one. Peace.